Hey guys, what is up? So I got one of my recent orders from Play Asia in these two releases. I'm curious, did you guys order either of these two games or both? Of course, you know I am going for the complete collection at this point. There's no turning back. We're getting to the end and I gotta finish. But uh, I was really excited about Pachi Pachi uh, until people that have played the game started saying it wasn't very good. So I'm really curious about this one still. I feel like I find enjoyment from a wider variety of games than most people. Maybe I'll still find enjoyment from this game. I don't know, we'll have to find out. Uh, I haven't played it yet, but I'm excited to give it a try. Today, we are checking out The Lost Cube though. We're gonna open this up and I'm gonna take a look at it, see how it plays. I did play this on the Xbox and I wasn't too fond of the way it controls, but I'm curious to see if this one plays any worse or better on the PlayStation Vita. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so first let's get the plastic off and then we will see what we have in here. Of course, it's an East Asia soft release. I'm sure we can all expect uh, what is going to be in here. I'm assuming a soundtrack, but I honestly don't even know was the soundtrack any good on this? I don't know, maybe it was. Uh, anyway, here is the box without the plastic on it. And of course they are individually numbered. You can see the holographic number on the back. Okay, here we go. All right, so here we have the certificate and of course it is numbered, just like on the back of the box, the numbers should match. And on the back of the certificate, we have some artwork. And here's the soundtrack. Open this up quick. And yeah, we'll check out the game too. I think maybe this is a better fit on the Vita for a, like a portable system, this game. You know, like it was probably a bit underwhelming on the Xbox. And on the back, we've got the list of tracks. Looks like we have eight tracks. I don't remember hearing that much music in the game, but I guess it must be there. And we have an insert, fold out insert, and then of course some artwork on the inside. I don't know what all this fruit is. What did, when did this happen in the game? I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. And the disc, ugh, got some artwork behind the disc as well. All right, so here is the game. I'm gonna take the plastic off and then we'll take a look at the box, box art. All right, so here's the back, and I love it when they put screenshots. You know, it makes it look more like a real retail release. I don't, I, it always disappoints me whenever I get a limited game and they don't even bother putting like screenshots on the back because you know, they're not trying to sell it in store. So they don't need to put screenshots on the back, but that's what I'm used to. You know, sometimes I want to window shop in my own game room. I want to try to be enticed to play one of my games. I'll look through the library and go, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. I wanna play that. <laughs> All right, so inside we have a manual, which I love to see. So here is the manual. We've got controls, introduction, how to play. I mean, should we follow the story of this game? This game seems like the type of game you don't need a story for, but let's go ahead. Ever since the red magic cube is taken away by the evil forces, the village has become dead and the happiness among people is gone. My son, now that I am very old and sick, together with everyone else, I will have to count on you to bring back the red magic cube. Stay calm and strong as you fight with your inner demons. Inner de he's got inner demons now too? Stay focused and do not let your surroundings deceive you or frustrate you. The magic red cube combined with the guitar can bring back life and happiness back to the village. We will wait for you. This seems oddly worded, doesn't it? And the trophies. I'm gonna try for these. Oh, and we do have some inside art on the cover. So it's pretty desolate, <laughs> but there's something. And here is the game card. Let's check it out. Let's 
All right, so this game is PlayStation TV compatible and it's also available on PlayStation 4, Xbox, Switch, and Steam. Each level in this game is one screen in size. You'll need to hit a switch to activate the exit and then go through. For a greater challenge, you can also try to collect the optional guitar picks on each level. You'll need to be careful because just about everything you touch will make you explode. Barely graze the side of some spikes, boom. Lasers, boom. Enemies, boom. Your character moves very quickly, but at a low frames per second. So it can be difficult to finally position yourself on the edge of a platform or far enough away from spikes without getting too close. You do have unlimited lives and you'll restart the level almost instantly, making you want to try just one more time. All right, one more time. Eh, just one more time. As frustrating as it can be, the levels are so short that you'll want to keep playing, especially when you come so close to passing the level. There are three chapters, each with their own unique look, enemies, and traps to avoid. And there are 20 levels on each chapter, making a total of 60 levels. After you've completed a chapter, you can go back and see which levels you've collected the optional guitar pick on. Then you can replay any of these levels to try again. Otherwise, just starting the game up normally will resume you right where you left off. My only main gripe is that sometimes the game doesn't perform a double jump for me. I've had this problem on both the Vita and Xbox versions of this game. I found that I have to really make sure I deliberately press the button a second time for my double jump to work. This probably has something to do with the way the input code was written for the game and the way I usually press the button so quickly. So if this is happening to you, just make sure you slow down your button presses a bit. With the simplistic looking graphics and the frustration, it really looks like a bad game on the surface, but I've actually been having quite a bit of fun with it. Again, this game is available digitally on the PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, and PC. MSRP is five US dollars, which isn't too bad, especially if you're looking to hunt some of those trophies or achievements. Speaking of, this game does have a platinum trophy. Now, of course, the physical Vita version here was a pre-order limited to only 1,000 copies. So if you want to pick this up, you'll need to find it second hand. All right, guys, stay tuned because it is getting close to the end of the month, which means another platinum trophy challenge and another winner for the $50 Play Asia gift card. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, I will see you later.